NASA has recently made a critical decision that will shape the future of human exploration beyond our solar system. Engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory are systematically turning off instruments aboard the twin Voyager spacecraft to extend their operational life into the 2030s. These twin spacecraft, launched in 1977, remain our only eyes and ears in interstellar space. As Suzanne Dodd, Voyager project manager at NASA, eloquently puts it, the Voyagers have been deep space rock stars since launch, and we want to keep it that way as long as possible. In this video, we will explore the current status of these pioneering spacecraft, examine NASA's power conservation strategy, and discover why these aging explorers remain so scientifically valuable as they journey farther into the unknown reaches of our galaxy. The Voyager spacecraft represent one of humanity's greatest engineering achievements, continuing to function far beyond their intended lifespan. These twin explorers have journeyed farther from Earth than any other human-made objects. With Voyager 1 currently at a distance of approximately 15 billion miles from our planet, and Voyager 2 trailing at about 12.5 billion miles, 20 billion kilometers. At these vast distances, radio signals from Earth take over 22 hours to reach Voyager 1 and nearly 19 hours to reach Voyager 2, creating unprecedented challenges for mission controllers. Both spacecraft have achieved the historic milestone of crossing the heliopause, the boundary where the Sun's influence ends and true interstellar space begins. Voyager 1 made this crossing in August 2012, becoming the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. Its twin, Voyager 2, followed in November 2018. This achievement was verified using data from instruments including the Cosmic Ray subsystem on Voyager 1, one of the very instruments now being shut down to conserve power. The original mission of these spacecraft focused on planetary exploration, with both Voyagers conducting close flybys of Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 2 continued on a grand tour that also included Uranus and Neptune, taking advantage of a rare planetary alignment that occurs only once every 176 years. These encounters revolutionized our understanding of the outer planets, discovering new moons, rings, and atmospheric features that had never been observed before. After completing their planetary missions in the 1980s, the spacecraft entered the Voyager interstellar mission phase. During this extended mission, they've been studying the outer reaches of the solar system, including the heliosphere, the bubble of charged particles from the sun that surrounds our solar system, and now the interstellar medium beyond it. The data they've collected has fundamentally altered our understanding of the boundary between our solar neighborhood and the rest of the galaxy. The Voyager spacecraft were built with remarkable durability in mind, but even the most robust technology has its limits. Each spacecraft carries identical suites of scientific instruments, though not all remain functional after 48 years in the harsh environment of space. Both spacecraft have endured radiation, micrometeoroid impacts, and the extreme cold of deep space, yet continue to operate and communicate with Earth. Their resilience stands as a testament to the engineering principles of the 1970s, built to last with redundant systems and robust design. The current scientific focus of the mission centers on gathering unprecedented data about the interstellar medium, the matter and radiation that exists between star systems. This includes measurements of magnetic fields, cosmic rays, and charged particles that cannot be studied from Earth or even from within our solar system. These measurements provide crucial insights into the structure of our galaxy and the conditions that exist between stars, helping scientists understand the cosmic environment in which our solar system exists. Despite their age and distance, both voyagers continue to make new discoveries. For instance, in 2019, Voyager 2's instruments detected unexpected changes in plasma density at the boundary of interstellar space, challenging existing models of the heliosphere's structure.
the Voyager spacecraft face a fundamental challenge that no amount of brilliant engineering could permanently solve, diminishing power. Each spacecraft relies on a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, RTG, for electricity, which converts heat from the natural decay of plutonium-238 into electrical power. These power systems were revolutionary when the Voyagers launched, but the inevitable decay of radioactive material means they produce approximately 4 watts less electricity each year, forcing NASA to make increasingly difficult decisions about power allocation. On February 25, 2025, NASA engineers made the calculated decision to deactivate Voyager 1's cosmic ray subsystem experiment. This instrument, consisting of three telescopes designed to detect high-energy particles from various sources in space, played a crucial role in confirming Voyager 1's passage into interstellar space in 2012. The decision to turn off this historic instrument wasn't made lightly, but represents a strategic trade-off to extend the overall mission's lifespan. Following this, on March 24, 2025, NASA plans to shut down the low-energy charged particle instrument aboard Voyager 2. This instrument measures various ions, electrons, and cosmic rays originating from both our solar system and the wider galaxy. Together, these shutdowns represent a significant reduction in the spacecraft's energy consumption, potentially adding years to their operational lives. This isn't the first time NASA has had to make such decisions. In October 2024, engineers turned off Voyager 2's plasma science experiment, which measured the flow of plasma, ionized gas, in interstellar space. That instrument had already been collecting limited data in recent years due to the orientation of Voyager 2 relative to the plasma flow. Even earlier, Voyager 1's own plasma science instrument stopped working correctly in 1980 and was completely shut down in 2007 to preserve power. The power management strategy employs a careful hierarchy of priorities. Mission critical systems, those necessary for basic spacecraft operations, maintaining correct orientation, and communication with Earth, receive the highest priority. Scientific instruments are prioritized based on their uniqueness and potential scientific return, with preference given to measurements that can only be taken in interstellar space and cannot be duplicated by Earth-based instruments or other spacecraft. Each RTG on the Voyagers initially produced about 470 watts of electricity at launch in 1977. Today, they generate less than half that amount with current power levels hovering around 208 watts for Voyager 1 and 214 watts for Voyager 2. Every watt saved is crucial. The spacecraft require minimum power thresholds for heating to prevent instruments from freezing, communications, and attitude control to keep their antennas pointed toward Earth. The engineering team at JPL employs creative solutions to maximize the remaining power. They've developed sophisticated power-sharing protocols that allocate electricity based on changing priorities and needs. In some cases, instruments are cycled on and off, rather than operated continuously. Heaters for non-essential components have been turned off, allowing those components to operate well below their design temperature ranges, a risky but necessary strategy that has so far proven successful. With the latest instrument shutdowns, NASA projects that both Voyagers will maintain three operational instruments through 2025, dropping to two in 2026. The hope is that at least one instrument on each spacecraft will continue functioning into the 2030s, allowing the Voyagers to collect unique scientific data for nearly six decades after their launch. The strategic power conservation efforts by NASA engineers aim to extend the Voyager mission well into the 2030s, potentially allowing these venerable spacecraft to reach the remarkable milestone of 60 years in operation. This timeline is particularly significant because it would enable the Voyagers to explore regions of interstellar space that may contain different properties than those they currently traverse potentially revealing new insights about the structure of our galaxy and the interstellar medium. Recent developments with the Voyager spacecraft 
highlight both the challenges and triumphs of managing such distant explorers. In a remarkable feat of engineering ingenuity, NASA successfully recovered communication with Voyager 1 in March 2023 after experiencing a significant anomaly. Engineers restored functionality by activating a backup transmitter that hadn't been used since 1981, demonstrating the remarkable foresight of the original mission designers who built in multiple redundancies that would prove valuable decades later. The unique scientific value of the Voyager mission cannot be overstated. These spacecraft provide the only direct measurements of the interstellar medium, the material between stars in our galaxy. This includes data on magnetic fields, cosmic rays, plasma densities, and charged particles that simply cannot be obtained from Earth-based observatories or even from spacecraft within our solar system. As Patrick Cohn, Voyager program scientist, notes, Every bit of additional data we have gathered since then is not only valuable bonus science for heliophysics, but also a testament to the exemplary engineering that has gone into the Voyagers. One of the most anticipated future discoveries could come from detecting changes in the interstellar medium as the spacecraft move farther from the influence of our sun. Scientists theorize that at greater distances, the Voyagers might encounter regions of space with different densities, temperatures, or magnetic field configurations than those observed thus far. Such discoveries could revolutionize our understanding of the structure of the Milky Way galaxy and provide context for understanding other stellar systems. The Voyagers also serve as pathfinders for future interstellar missions. The data they collect on radiation environments, dust concentrations, and other hazards helps engineers design the next generation of spacecraft intended to explore beyond our solar system. The New Horizons spacecraft, which flew past Pluto in 2015, is following in the Voyager's wake and will eventually reach interstellar space, though it will take a different path through the galaxy. Beyond their scientific value, the Voyagers carry with them the famous golden records, phonograph records containing sounds and images selected to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth. These artifacts, intended for any intelligent extraterrestrial life that might find them, represent humanity's message to the cosmos and will likely outlast most other human creations, potentially surviving for billions of years in the emptiness of interstellar space. Linda Spilker, Voyager project scientist at JPL, captures the excitement and uncertainty of the mission's future. Every minute of every day, the Voyagers explore a region where no spacecraft has gone before. That also means every day could be our last, but that day could also bring another interstellar revelation. This sentiment reflects the pioneering spirit that continues to drive deep space exploration, pushing boundaries, accepting risks, and embracing the unknown in pursuit of knowledge. Thank you for watching this exploration of NASA's Voyager mission. If you've enjoyed learning about these remarkable spacecraft, please like this video, subscribe to our channel for more space science content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep looking up and wondering about our place among the stars.